Hey guys, it's Jonathan, Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and we're gonna do uh, something that's been done before, but I've seen them on clearance aisle, and, I, and I'm not, I'm mainly a metal card collector, so I said, I'll pick these up and unbox them. This is a WWE Superstars Series 1, Ric Flair. And I have this figure, but I said when these come out that I wasn't going to, uh, I wasn't going to uh, go deep into them. And if so far, every line's come out, I've, there's been a figure that I like, but this was, uh, $13.50. So I said, well, I mean, I can't leave my, the Nate's sitting there on clearance. So I said, I'll pick him up and unbox him. So that's what we're gonna do. There's that, black and white on the back. You can see series one, Bray Wyatt, Hulk Hogan, Honky Talk Man, and Ric Flair. And uh, let's see here, there he is. Show him, see the scan there. I'm not sure what that red robe is. I mean, I don't know what they call that or what. It's not the, uh, I'm not sure if he ever even had a red roll. I'm sure he did at some point in time, but. We're gonna wrestle with these things here, see if we can get this off. Come on, Nate. All right, there he is. Show him that while I dig that. <clears throat> dig that out, let's see. Got Ric Flair on the nice head scan. Got a microphone. That's when Nate was in his best with that microphone. Oh, his arm come off. <laughs> I probably did that when I was unboxing it. And then I went out and, uh, see if you can see this, went out and bought myself some ringside collectible uh, display stands since I'm unboxing more and more. Mainly because we were sitting there and he's like, I said I wasn't gonna buy any of these. Yeah, and so I wasn't gonna buy any stands, but they do display better with stands. There he goes, all right. He's he back got his in, arm. Let's back see, in action. See if he'll fit on a, uh, Oh. See if he'll fit on the stand here. May have to get you to do it. My hands don't want to work. It's cold in the shop. I can't get my hands to work. See if you can get it on there. But anyway, Ric Flair, he's a. You have to. It's got a little hole in the foot there. Oh. Uh, maybe he won't stand on it. I don't know. Maybe it's only made for elite. You may have to buy special stands for these. I'm not sure. It seems like it might be a little. Anyway, let's un let's show you show him Anyways, the stand on there. Nice row. He's got extra hands here. I don't know what they do with all these hands. You know, maybe do people do customs and all that. Well, let's see if we can disrobe the nature. <laughs> yeah, he likes to be disrobed. I'm sure, it's been done before. Too. These are sort of uh, sort of like the. <laughs> the uh Remco's there i don't know that nature was ever that uh nature boy was ever that cut you know ever that lean there he's buff he's like he's awful lean looking there dang but that's a good figure there i'm all in i've got a lot of these i've got quite a few of these unboxed there the nature you know he would come out to the ring and take all his clothes off and get to talking crazy and uh he doesn't quite do all that on AEW. He does get a little loud and proud every once in a while, but there's the robe there you can see there. Cool robe there. We'll slide Nature Boy to the side. It says Rick, uh, initials on the boots there. And his trunks. Yeah. Does it say? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. All yeah. right. Very cool figure. I like these figures. Then we've got, I was on that same Clarence Austin. Oh, man. Sure can't leave the Hulkster on the Clarence Hall. Especially this is the 40th anniversary his, this week, his birthday. So and he's somebody it's already. His birthday, is it? Oh no, it's not his birthday. Oh. It's the 40th anniversary of Hulk. But somebody already sort of opened it, but anyway. I know these have been done, you know, this is SummerSlam series and we've had a thousand Hulk Hogan since then. <laughs> but uh, couldn't leave this one there. Man, a lot of accessories with this one. You can see he's got the mask there, the uh, Mr. Perfect arms, the hands, the uh, red, white, and blue uh, face mask. Or not face mask, do rag. If I can get him out there. Oh! He's got little hairs across his head. See if you can get him on that stand with it. 
Oh yeah, he's got yeah. See, he's got his two little hairs across his stead there. That's a nice tan on his uh, body there. They got the skin tone, good skin tones. Mr. Perfect. I don't know what we're gonna do with these. Okay. Well, he he works on the stand. Yeah. Okay. We'll put his do rag on him. This is when he uh, teamed with uh, Ultimate Warrior, I believe. Is that going on him? Put that on. Put that on. I'll face you want, yeah, put his face. You take his do rag yeah, off. Yeah, I'll take first. his do rag off there. Well, now you can't tell who it is. No. <laughs> hey, you pull it you down. Hulk Hogan on Monday Night Raw, he teased a, uh, I don't know. It's not a COVID mask. <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. Uh, on Monday Night Raw, he teased a uh, comeback there. Yeah, it's got eyeball holes. We'll see. We'll take it off there. I don't know. I think it looks better without it. Yeah. Maybe we can put it in his hand. Uh, I can't get it off now. But anyway, he teased a, that he's going to come back and end the rubble. He... Hogan can barely walk, guys. Calm down. Everybody on the internet needs to calm down. He's not coming in the rumble. He might come out and make an appearance, you know. And he's earned that right to come out and say hi and make an appearance. Uh, if it wasn't for Hulk Hogan, WWE wouldn't be what it is today. Wrestling wouldn't be what it is today. But there you have it. Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan uh, SummerSlam Edition, Elite Unboxed, and Ric Flair, WWE Superstars, uh, Unbox this. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell.